Welcome to Radical Underdogs, and today is a wet brand hatch. Uh, a, we are going into qualifying first, and then we're going into race one, and then race two. Uh, I am Will. Michael. Hello, Adam. <laughs> we are Radical Underdogs. <laughs> Charles Medwin, very last corner, he's going to get a better drive out of this corner, we're going to be side by side. And we're going into qualifying at, at wet, very wet Brands Hatch. Um, I actually prefer either it being very wet or dry, um, I'm, not, I'm not an expert in the greasy conditions. So anyway, here we are in the decidedly wet conditions and actually by arriving first and being really keen, it means actually we're second out on circuit and which means actually if I get in front here of Peter Higton in car number four, it means actually I've got a clear run um, at the lap and I know from experience that the spray can be really bad uh, around Brands Hatch at the water pools at the bottom of the hill there for example. Um, so here we are starting a flying lap with a clear track in front of us uh, so potentially a good chance to get a good lap time in but actually no cars are coming out of the pit lane um, and that's going to be um, potentially ruining our lap there um, but actually being able to keep it onto the racing line round uh, Paddock Hill Bend um, and actually coming up to Druid and taking the wet line round the outside um, I wouldn't necessarily take my lines as the perfect wet lines around this circuit. I think probably look at some other <laughs> wet lines uh, to get a better idea. But anyway, you're going down into Graham Hill Bend again, bit probably a bit close to the inside there, and actually getting a bit of oversteer on the on the turn in. But um, that's that's not too bad. Um, going down now into uh, into Surtees um, again, taking ideally trying to take a wet line around here, and then actually the next uh, next corner up at McLaren and through into Clark Curve, you really want to be right on the edge, just put almost as far out as you dare, but obviously don't touch the, the white line and don't go into the gravel. But anyway, taking the wide wet line, you get a lot more grip out there in the wet, uh, and then basically power down uh, to the start finish line. Um, and that was a 111.8, um, and actually only good enough for 21st position. Um, the rest of the session looks like this, a lot of traffic, a lot of spray, difficult to get another lap out. So, not too bad, not great just either. about to go into race one of the weekend at Brands Hatch. It has been a very wet qualifying, uh, but we are now on a very greasy track, so difficult setup choices to be made. I will. And we're going into race one. And thank you to Adam for, for also watching this out. Um, but here we are, uh, lining up on the grid. It's um, It was very wet on the circuit um, earlier for qualifying, so really testing out the track conditions. It has stopped raining. It's very greasy. This is the outlap, almost dropping it on the outlap, trying to warm up the tyres and warm up the brakes. But, oh, on the start-finish line, and the red lights are on, and they are off, and it is a not a bad start. There's a lot of wheel spin, a lot of cars struggling to get the power down. Um, a lot of cars ahead and it's bunching up. Actually, there's no way through. It's a wall of monsters. Um, but on the inside is 122 Robert Greensmith, who's actually made it through on the inside. Uh, and are we all going to make it through Paddock Hill Bend? It is an extremely greasy circuit. There are cars on the gravel already. I don't think it's very difficult. Very deep gravel, Paddock Hill Bend. You're not going to be able to get out. Anyway, down to Druids for the first time. That's 778 Kevin Dengue flying down the inside. He's probably going to make that stick as well. Uh, we've got a car on the outside. It's three abreast through Druids. Um, and we have safely made it through uh, somehow. Uh, and cars now barreling down to Graham Hill Bend for the first time. Uh, taking the inside line on the outside is car 65 of Amy Barker, but no, not making it through there. Um, now, uh, single file, well, we're single file, cars around us certainly aren't. Got number 550, uh, Thomas Mannett looking up the inside but not making it through down at Surtees. Uh, round Clark Curve, remember the outside line is where you've got the grip but potentially there's a way through on the inside line. Uh, Amy's got the line on the outside. I think she's going to get the power down first, and she does, uh, and she is going to make it through um, uh, down into the start-finish stretch, so not a way through there. Now going on to lap two, uh, there's potentially a way down. There's a passing place uh, down at Paddock Hill Bend, so potentially out braking. Uh, and Amy's brakes a little bit early. Are we going to be able to carry more speed? Yes, I think so. Uh, are we going to be able to turn in and make it stick? Yes, there's a car off in front in the gravel. 
Um, that did not come back onto the circuit, so unfortunately um, not causing any major accident. We now got Richard Bartlett in car 78 up ahead of us um, with car 99, Jamie Turner as well. So through Druids, it's side by side up ahead of us, side by side behind us, but we uh, seem to be in a bit of a gap. Um, now going down into Graham Hill Bend, uh, Richard taking the wide line, uh, following and I'm following him through. A uh, bit of oversteer on the exit whilst getting the power down. Uh, but it all looks a bit under control now. Uh, down on lap two now, going into 30s. But it looks like Richard's got a bit sideways, very sideways. And he is out, I think. He is, well, he's spun around and he's gone off the circuit. Um, and now down to lap three, uh, skipping ahead a bit. Um, and there's a car off on the grass having a bit of a sightseeing tour. And we're going to make it past. Uh, and he's just, well, um, obviously you're not going to get traction on the grass. Uh, but anyway, going down to Surtees uh, for yet another. And there's a yellow flag out. And I think that's for Richard Bartlett's car, which is AC on the inside. Um, and we're going through now to McLaren and Clark Kerr. You see all the cars stacking up. They can't pass because the yellow flags are not allowing anyone to pass into the into the basically the only passing zones on the circuit. Uh, so cars peeling off into the pit lane. Uh, this isn't the sort of race where you have you go into the pit lane for a, a regular stop. So they are probably going to retire. Uh, so and there is another yellow flag. So we are all getting ready to pass down into Paddock Hill Bend. But there is another yellow flag. Uh, it's probably a good time to thank the marshals. I and mean, it is a wet and pretty chilly day out there and the marshals are making this race work um, a lot of cars going off into the gravel uh, as you see there sort of actually quite working quite close to the live circuit but anyway we're back um uh, oh no more yellow flags into druids so uh, no green flag racing yet so uh, yellow flags into druids um, and, and out of Druids now we go uh, down into Graham Hill Bend. We've lost a bit of time in that in that yellow flag zone actually. Uh, down into Graham Hill Bend, uh, taking the again wet line. It's difficult to choose a line at the moment. It's very greasy still uh, from the weather earlier in the day. Um, and now heading down, and there is a yet another yellow flag uh, going down into Surtees. I think that's still for Richard Bartlett's car on the inside. Um, and you can see, I think he's helping out the marshals there, trying to get it out of the way. Um, and then we go down into um, uh, McLaren and Clark Curve. Um, and it's really um, not anywhere to pass on the circuit at the moment because uh, of all the yellow flags and all the incidents uh, that are causing sort of several. Uh, it's a very busy day for the marshals out on uh, Brands Hatch uh, on this wet and windy uh, day. Uh, so going down now to Paddock Hill Bend uh, and yet another yellow flag zone. Um, I think um, it's a short lap. Um, and we're going to skip ahead. Uh, now, hopefully, most of these yellow flags are, are cleared actually in this in this clip, um, and the marshal's doing an excellent job. Uh, Jamie Turner um, ahead of us in car 99, actually getting, getting very uh, oversteery on the exit. That has given Thomas Mallet of 550 an excellent chance. I'm on the inside. It's not a lot of grip on the inside. I'm drifting wide. Uh, Thomas sort of recognises that and actually does the old switcheroo and back on the inside. And he's going to make it through, or is he? Because there's actually more grip on the outside. Yes, he does make it through. And that's a recovering Owen Woodward, who you saw taking that scenic trip earlier. He does not make it through this time round, but I'm sure he will want to be making it through. He's coming back, having a bit of a recovery drive, um, having been on the grass at this very point of the circuit earlier today. I'm going to switch to the outside shot. There we go. Uh, seeing the cars drive past. Uh, it's an excellent viewing uh, position. If you want to come down to Brands Hatch, it's, a, it's quite a good um, track for spectators. You can see a lot of the circuit. But anyway, I'm not doing any spectating. I'm driving the car at the moment. So we've got Owen Woodward's down on the inside. It's side by side. Um, I've got much more grip on the outside, so I think I can get the power down earlier. And that seems to be the case. Actually, we're pulling away uh, as we go down Brabham Strait. And I think, yes, we're going to keep the position for the time being. Um, and as we go down into to Paddock Hill Bend, there, there it might, might still be yellow flags out. Uh, no, actually, they, they've cleared it up. So this is a green flag zone. Um, and going down into Paddock Hill Bend, and there's still a car out there on the gravel. And Owen is much closer this time around, but he, he's actually got um, tricky traction going down. He's, and actually, as happens with Mazda racing, there's an incident up ahead. We don't know it yet down at Paddock Hill Bend. Uh, but as, as I was saying, with Mazda racing, sometimes the people behind you come to your rescue because actually Owen's having troubles all by, all of his own up there. Now, um, coming back into that yellow flag zone, because we saw a car go off uh, on the clip earlier, and actually side by side, I think Amy's being forced 
oh, very wide onto the onto the uh, runoff area there, but actually giving enough space. Um, and here we are, outside view again, and side by side um, with Owen behind us, going through. Uh, in, we're going to skip ahead, actually. Uh, Tans Paddock Hill Bend, and actually. Um, I've been quite slow through Paddock Hill Bend, and then you will understand if you saw the previous video. Um, I did end up in the gravel on the outside of Paddock Hill Bend, so if you haven't seen that, go and have a look at that video. And Amy's down on the outside of Druids. Are we going to give enough, enough space? Well, if I was a certain Max Verstappen, maybe I'd be running her out all the way around onto the grass here, but no, I'm being fair and giving her space, and actually that probably gives her the, the place. But no, we're side by side through Paddock Hill Bend. Can I stick it around the outside of Paddock Hill Bend? No is the answer to that I'm actually running a bit wide myself uh, onto the runoff area there uh, it's probably a good moment to say actually like and subscribe it does actually help the youtube algorithm so press the little thumbs up button that does actually help it gets more people to see the video etc etc um, and uh, where are we oh, having a bit of a moment but i think we're all right it was, we were slower anyway because of the yellow flag uh, we've got um i think we've got 76 charles medwin behind us at the moment um and it might feel like we're losing a lot of places in this race but you've also seen a lot of cars off the circuit so this is potentially a little bit of a case of a tortoise doing a, a fairly decent job in this race so i think we're well up um and there's a car facing the other direction at graham hill bend and we all successfully negotiate that um and now uh, i think this is the second to last lap um and we've got a couple of cars behind us one on a recovery drive one being charles medley who started um towards the back of the grid, doing 30th. Uh, a lot of people didn't have great qualifying sessions. Um, Charles is normally around. We're racing with Charles in other circuits, like we were at, at, at Cabwell, for example. Uh, but going through onto the last lap of the race is side by side behind us, down into Paddock Hill Bend. Um, and no, steering wide onto the gravel. God, I look at the understeer on that. I mean, um, yeah, it's a very greasy circuit, very difficult. This is the last, second to last corner. Um, going, going into 30s um, and now going into the very last corner of the race and am I going to leave I'm leaving the door open here uh, there is much better grip on the outside I've gone defensive on the inside but Charles Medwin very last corner he's going to get a better drive out of this corner we're going to be side by side down the paddock hill straight for the very last time uh, on this circuit and it looks like Charles but actually coming back on the inside it's going to be very close across the line that is the chequered flag and Charles actually uh, gets ahead of us. Um, the end result there um, and was 16th out of 32. Um, so very much the very middle of the pack. You can't get much more middle than 16 out of 32 if my math serves me correctly. Um, and that was actually because Charles did actually get a penalty. He was disqualified after the race, not for that move. That move was fair, um, but he did undertake, overtake under yellows. Uh, and there was also a penalty there for Peter Higdon. Um, who put us to and ended up going behind us. So, uh, 16th out of 32, and we're going to go into race two next up.